Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Dr. UUT channel uh, this video is in English and available in Urdu so in this video we'll cover the ecothiophate mechanism of action and what is called edging and what is the mode of action or the mechanism of action of uh, praliloxin obliroxin as you know we studied in the corinomimatics it is one of the corinomimatics which one indirect acting and uh, further we have two types of indirect acting cholinomimatics number one is called reversible number two is called irreversible cholinomimatic and that is also indirect now once again i will clarify the term direct and indirect you have uh, the presynaptic neuron and here you got the post synaptic neuron pre and uh, post synaptic neuron what happens in case of uh, direct and indirect if acetylcholine comes and binds to the receptor it is called direct or uh, when you take the drug that is acting on the receptor on which the acetylcholine is uh, doing its action or where it is going to attach or react those drugs are given the name is direct acting because they are directly acting on the receptor and here we got uh, enzyme noun is acetylcholine esterase enzyme when you take any drug and that drug instead binding to the receptor that drug binds to this enzyme then that drug is given the name is indirect acting cholinomimetic cholinomimetic we will call in that sense when it is increasing the amount of acetylcholine here now the ecothiophate it is called as uh, the indirect acting irreversible cholinomimetic now how it is called as cholinomimetic first of all it is indirect why because it is acting on this enzyme not on the receptor then it is called as cholinomimetic then it is called as irreversible three things one is irreversible second is indirect one two and number three is cholinomimetic so now we cleared the term indirect, irreversible. Now it is cholinomimetic. Ecothiophate binds here is indirect. Irreversible it is binding, it's okay. Then we have cholinomimetic. How it is cholinomimetic? Because when it binds here, so this enzyme, its action is to acetylcholine esterase. You know, esterase. It is breaking this acetylcholine into parts to choline and acetate. So when this ecothiophate binds to this enzyme, the more will happen then acetylcholine will no more be broken and this acetylcholine will be available to bind to the receptor and to do its action so it is increasing the concentration of acetylcholine in the synapses that's why this is given the name is cholinomimetic indirect irreversible cholinomimetic now we have got here edging and pralidoxime or redoxime also the terms so we will clear now all of them now let's come towards the term edging what is aging you know aging is the when a person becomes old so this is called aging with time the same is the case here ecothiophate is acting uh, with the time means its action is with the time when you give it the ecothiophate binds to the acetylcholine esterase how here you got uh, i will not, i'm not drawing the complete chemical structure just i'm giving you the sense phosphate sulfur alkyl and uh, here you may have oxygen and uh, alkyl groups like this so let me just draw it simply I will mention just alkyls here it's available but just I'm mentioning alkyl in order to make my diagram a little bit uh, uh, good so that's why this is your ecothiophate general okay just I'm giving you the sense it's not the exact structure of the chemical structure just get it as a sense now here is the enzyme and you know this is the active site of enzyme here we got the hydroxyl group the active site of uh, this enzyme contains the functional group known as hydroxyl so this will bind uh, through its phosphate ecothiophate will bind through the phosphate to this enzyme so now the phosphate in a sense is blocked so what will happen this uh, sulfur alkyl and hydrogen in first step sulfur alkyl and hydrogen they will get they will take a side they will be removed now here oxygen is available so what will happen the bond is formed 
between the phosphate and oxygen so now this enzyme this is enzyme okay will become inactive now this is an inactive enzyme I'm making you understand about the terms edging and paradox so now look how the paradoxism and edgings are doing their mechanism of action and what is edging now in this sense in case of ecothiophate and what is paradoxin? This pralidoxin and albidoxin, these two drugs, they are uh, the enzyme reactivators. So what will happen? First of all, the ecothiophate when it binds through it, uh, its phosphate with the oxygen of this enzyme, this will become inactive. Now this is an inactive enzyme. This reactivators, pralidoxin and albidoxin, when we give these medications, so this will do what? This will reactivate the this enzyme what will happen what happens actually when uh, the ecothiophate binds to the enzyme uh, slowly and gradually this enzyme starts losing the alkyl group alkyl group when the alkyl group this now this is the second alkyl group first is here now the second alkyl group is here now when this is lost slowly this enzyme uh, activates uh, in a sense to this ecothiophate to dth it's one alkyl more from here now we got two alkyls here so but we're talking about these two alkyls which are attached to the oxygen by means of uh, phosphate and oxygen linkage with the alkyl group so when this alkyl is removed slowly in this while if we give pralidoxime and albidoxime these two medication they will do what they'll reactivate they will rejoin the alkyl group to this uh, ecothiophate and ecothiophate will become reactive uh, will take a side and this enzyme will become reactive again from inactive to reactive what will happen then then again the alkyl group phosphate alkyl sulfur hydrogen etc or uh, like this means the ecothiophate will take a side will be detached from the enzyme and the enzyme as usual it will become okay with the oxygen and hydrogen so now again it will be available to do its action means to cleave the to break the acetylcholine in two parts so now how this uh, ecothiophate is acting irreversibly and what is edging now do you got these all steps now again i'm making people clear enough pridoxin and obliodoxin and edging ecothiophate is going to bind here irreversibly so what happens actually with the time edging yeah here you have to understand that with the time it is going to bind irreversibly why so when there is a loss of alkyl group, this is called edging. When there is a loss of alkyl group, that's called edging. When ecothiophate binds to the enzyme, slowly and gradually, there is a loss of alkyl group, this is called edging. When this time passes, the alkyl group is detached or removed permanently. And when there is a enough time passed, what happens? This uh, ecothiophate then permanently binds to the enzyme then that is called irreversible so in that case when we provide the pralidoxin then it will not reactivate the this inactive enzyme so for that your uh, body is supposed or those neuron cells are supposed to reactivate uh, or to make new molecules enzyme molecules to do its action so that's why ecothiophate are uh, ecothiophates they are gonna do what they are act here irreversibly with the time what happens edging is when there is a loss of uh, alkyl group from uh, this ecothiophate and enzyme when they are bound together so what happened then with the time when the time passes then its action will become low means then pridoxin and albidoxin will not react will not reactivate the enzyme so that's a general uh, means uh, with the edging is what it is the loss of the alkyl group and ecothiophate is binding irreversibly with the time when there is enough loss of alkyl group or when the time is enough passed so after that these two uh, reactivators means pridoxin obidoxin they were supposed to rejoin the alkyl group with the ecothiophate but because of the time now if edging has happened means there is enough loss of alkyl group from the ecothiophate so due to that this ecothiophate is no more gonna bind to the uh, no more going to be released because now it has got a lot of time has been spent so that's why this ecothiophate will bind permanently with the enzyme and then what will happen enzyme will become inactive forever forever that's it uh, a little bit from my side hope so you got thank you